Okay, next tutorial. This time I'm dressed up as Valak from the new movie Conjuring 2. It's just this creepy, creepy demonic nun. So I thought it'd be a fun one to do. Since the movie came out, so many people requested that I do this makeup, so I'll flash their names on the screen now. Obviously I can't shout out everyone's names, but here are the first few people. And the very, 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 very first person to request it was this person right here. So thank you guys so, so much for requesting this makeup. I made it quite a bit more like darker and a bit more theatrical than the version in the film. It's more like the painting that's in the film. I just wanted to take it and go in like a more creepy route. So I hope you like my take on it. If you'd like to learn how to do this, stay tuned. So for this look, you're gonna to need to get rid of your eyebrows. So I'm gonna block them out with spirit gum and wax. So I'll pop a link on the screen right here to a video where I teach you guys how to do that, just so I don't have to recap it in this video. So I'm gonna block my eyebrows out and we'll go from there. Then I'm gonna take a Cryolan TV paint stick. This is in white, but I think I call it 070. And I'm just gonna press that over my eyebrows. This isn't gonna be the foundation that I'm gonna be using because it's quite a bit thicker than it needs to be. But I do wanna make sure my eyebrows are completely covered. So that's why I'm just using it on my eyebrows for now. Then for the foundation, I'm gonna be using my trusty Snazaroo Clown White. So I'm just gonna apply that just in the middle area of my face and I can blend that out with a Kabuki brush. There's no need to do your neck or your ears or anything because that'll be covered by the costume. I've not bothered going over my eyes because I'm gonna be applying a lot of black in the area and I don't want to taint it. I want it to be as black as possible rather than mixing with the white and becoming gray. Then I can settle that with a powder puff and some Ben Nye setting powder in Super White. Just make sure to press super heavy on your eyebrows just so it really covers them. Then I can take a MAC black paint stick and I'm gonna start working on the contouring. So the look I'm going for here is gonna be a mixture between the painting that's in the film and the actual nun themselves. So I want this to be as theatrical and creepy looking as possible. So I'm gonna do some quite heavy contouring. It's almost drag makeup to be honest. Drag makeup in a James Wan movie. So the idea is I'm gonna apply this quite high up, but it's gonna be very, very dark, like lower down than it would usually be. So very gaunt looking. So I'm just gonna draw this on quickly and show you where I've gone so I can blend it out afterwards. So like this. So then I can take a fluffy brush, but quite firm, and without adding any extra color, I'm just gonna start buffing that color in, in small circles, but more moving down the face rather than up. So then once I've got the shadow, I can go back in with the black and just start etching out this, a similar shape, but this time just blending it downwards. Okie dokie, so this is the effect I mean. So you've got the gradient here, but you've got the harsh black line just at where the cheek would start pouting inwards. Don't worry about the block white or anything for now because a lot of this is gonna be blended into each other so the face is gonna be very gray towards the end of it. So I'm just gonna do that on this side. Then I'm gonna do the same thing again around the temple. So I'm just gonna draw the line and I'll show you where I've gone afterwards. Then once again, I can start blending this color outwards. Then the same thing again, I can start drawing these type of lines just where the bone is going to be more prominent, so in which case it's going to be just around the temple lines. So then taking the black cream, I'm going to do some nose contouring. So I'm going to go down the sides of the nose and I'm going to blend it out quite sharply. So again, I'm just going to quickly draw it so you can see where I've gone. It's just to make the nose look a little bit bigger. I was going to use a prosthetic for this look, but I think it can be achieved with contouring. So I thought it might be universally more easy to do that. And then just blend that outwards. Then whilst I'm in that area, I'm going to extend the lines down around the nasal labial folds, around the nose, the cheeks, and I should assume this character does a lot of grimacing. Then I can take that colour and blend it outwards, leaving the inside clear. Then I'm just going to take some more of the setting powder by Ben Nye in the Super White, and I'm just going to press that over where I've gone. So then I can take the black cream and I can go over my eyelids and just ever so slightly under my eye. Don't worry about it being neat at this point because it's not gonna be a round shape. It's gonna be very bruised and it's gonna go down underneath your eyes and it's gonna be very asymmetrical. So then I'm gonna take a fluffy brush that's fairly firm and I'm just gonna start blending out the edge of the black just so I've got a base blend. So now I can take the black and go straight down underneath my eyes, pretty much where your eye bags would start if you were incredibly tired. <laughs> 
Then just to really darken things up, I'm gonna go over my waterline of my eyes and maybe about a centimeter of the black with a MAC fluid line in black track, just to make it as dark as possible. Then taking a super, super, super fine but sharp angle brush and the black cream, I'm gonna draw on what looks like cracks. It's very confusing. It's very porcelain dull, but veiny, but not really veiny. I really don't know how to put this, but hey ho, they look cool. So the idea is to go in one direction, completely asymmetrical, there seems no plan for this, and just let the lines trail off as if you were doing veins. Just don't go back and forth, just go in one direction. So it's difficult to talk about the placement, so I'm just gonna do this for a time lapse just so you can see where I've gone. Okie dokie. Then whilst using the black cream, I'm going to darken up around the edges of my nostrils and my actual nostrils themselves and make them pointed. So if I just show you roughly, always a fun area to work in. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so it just makes the nose look a bit more turned up, and more pointy, just more evil in general, I think. <laughs> So then for the mouth, I'm going to be using the black cream again, but instead of using like a lip brush, I'm going to be using the brush I've been using to blend. So I'm going to literally dab that on there. The idea is to spackle it over your lips, more so blend it off to one side, but it really does trail out as if this character has been eating something black and it's just spread out over her face. So then I'm just going to darken a few things out, pop on my costume, pop on my contact lenses, and I think I'm done. And there we go, that's the look complete. So I finished the look off by popping in two Scalera contact lenses, which I got from ScaleraXL.com. I'll pop that link in the description bar below. Obviously you don't have to wear Scalera lenses. I think even in the film, this character has like yellow regular size lenses. I just thought it made it look like infinitely more creepier with Scalera lenses in, so I thought why not? I popped on a generic nun costume, which I believe I got from Amazon. And of course I grossed out my teeth. Now I didn't use tooth enamel, I just used regular like food coloring. Of course, obviously if you wanted a more permanent look, you can get little bottles of tooth enamel from like Corolan or Grimace. So yeah, that's my take on Valak from The Conjuring 2. I hope you don't mind that I went off on my own with this one. I kind of made it a mixture of like the painting that's in the film and the actual character itself, just to make it as like theatrical and creepy as it can be. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this. If you like it, please make sure to, you know, the usual, as I always say, rate, comment, subscribe, and all that jazz. So yeah, until the next video. Bye guys.